Hello, hello to all of my crafty friends out there. This is Mariposa coming to you with a crafty haul. And I'm going to start out this haul off with um, something that I received from a very special crafty friend. Her name is Roz, and she is here trying to grow her channel on YouTube. So I'm going to link her channel link down below. Um, you guys are not going to believe this because I couldn't believe it either. The, she gifted me, and I love this designer, by the way, um, this entire set of Damask Love things for none other than the scrapbooking for my with my students for this coming school year. I was so touched and speechless, speechless. And Roz, if you get to see this, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your generosity is just you know, I, I, I left me without words, truly. And um, I want to share with you guys what she picked up. Um, so, like I said, this is all going to be used for scrapbooking with my students this school year. Um, stay tuned for the um, videos about how that went last year. I'm still working on them. Um, but she gifted me these adorable set of post-it notes, which is perfect because they can add something like this to each one of their layouts and write words or even use them for labels. So it's adorable. We got a little cassette tape, some hearts, a clipboard, some arrows, and some stars. We've got foam stickers, and my kids were loving using all of the stickers. And here are the stickers that come in this collection. If you're not familiar with The Mass Love, she is very, very colorful, but that makes her a perfect, perfect match for anything with children in particular. And then she also gifted me these flat stickers. Oh, by the way, she got these from Tuesday morning. If you know you see something that um, strikes your fanny, fancy or you know kind of speaks to the younglings in your life, in your crafty world. And then there's the papers. So this first pad is called Girl Power. I get so cool. Oh, I already looked at it. <laughs> I'm such a peeker. See, I already looked at it. <laughs> Couldn't wait. I rarely can. Oh, but the, here's a sneak peek at the papers. I like looking at them in more detail, though. How is everybody doing? Are you all well? I hope everybody is well. Fall is coming. Looking forward to it. My favorite season of all of them. Okay, so let's flip through. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so this is Girl Power by Damask Love. So fun and busy, which is very cool for kids, I think. At least that's what I found this year. Um, oh, look at those flowers. It's so pretty. Oh, I love that. And that definitely is reflective of, like, the group that I have. Oh, so pretty. And, you know, it was so funny because um, the kids didn't often pick designs that I thought they would gravitate to. It was so surprising. Oh, that's beautiful, too, for all the people. They are going to flip. Oh, I think it's, is it repeating? Yes, it's repeating. Okay, let me flip it over because this is double-sided. I hope I'm in frame. I get so excited about stuff and then I forget I'm not filming for myself. Oh, that's so pretty. I think this is one of my um, favorite collections from her. Oh, I like those with the eyes. Do you guys see that? Okay, so we're repeating. All right, so that's Girl Power. And then we have, um, oh, project pad. Okay, okay, cool. 
This is usually what I get from Damask Love. I usually get the project pads. Okay. So this comes with paper and um, like this is all stickers. These will be all gone by the time we're done. <laughs> and this is single sided, but then it'll have like cut apart. So my kids use those too. And then there's also, you know, repeats of the paper. This is cool. This has got glitter in it. Um, so they learned how to like um, bump these up and give them dimension. And I found the hard way that I needed. Oh my gosh, they're going to die. They're going to die with the clothes. Um, I, crowns. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, and then there's glitter. Then I have to divide. The, I'm going to have to punch this out. That might cause just a little bit of tension. And then some, um, uh, like, uh, just color, uh, plain co cardstock to coordinate. Oh, and there's a Damas Love envelope template. Oh, that would be fun to use, too. Oh, that could be fun. They could put something in it. Oh, ideas are flowing. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the... Oh, no, 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 not quite. She also got washi tape, which was also something that the kids fell in love with. So let's look at those. Oh, my goodness. They love the washi tape. Oh, they had a blast with it. Okay, so this is the first one. First set, first set. Oh, I think that's a, that looks, oh, that's so cute. That's a, um, a uh, floaty. And then the first one has like drinks. We've got uh, some sunshine, people having fun at the beach, some water. I think they're going to use this already. I'm thinking ahead of time for like June or May. Um, maybe even both because I did that too this year. I wasn't expecting to. But believe it or not, I ran out of stuff by <laughs> the end of the year. I was running out of materials because it's not uh, easy crafting with... I had 17 kids. Um, so they consume a lot when you get them to go when you get them going okay and this is the second one oh cherries Ooh, this reminds me of wonder woman they're gonna like that one oh, so cool they're gonna love this with the the faces the other thing that i thought was beautiful we have watermelon i love it in the rainbow hearts so cute needless to say i didn't look at this as um closely when I first got it as I am now which is I love these two oh, so beautiful um and I love the daisies too um kids didn't always and I think that's a good thing they shocked me with their choices so I'm just gonna say this because part of me was you know a little I was pleasantly surprised as an educator that they didn't necessarily grab it like what I thought was girly they didn't necessarily see as specifically for the girls, which is great because that's the whole point of my job, right? It's to kind of get them to think outside the box about things, not to think in categories, not to think, uh, to see things in a restricted way. And I also got to learn that um, crafting and art does that for kids. So... <laughs> Roz, thank you so, so much. I, I, again, I'm just, I can't wait for you to see what they create with what you gifted them. Thank you. And my future students, thank you. And you were amazing. <laughs> thank you, boo. Okay, so we're going to keep going with this. I've got some um, shares from the recent Anna Griffith August 22nd um, sale that she had, which was kind of fall Halloween themed. So I thought these were gorgeous. I picked up um, her 
beautifully scary rosettes. And they are. They are beautifully scary rosettes. Um, thought these were gorgeous. And they can go either way. I feel like they could go very, like, almost modern. Oh, I didn't see that with the spider in the middle. So just giving you a sense of the different designs. Okay, and I think I've shown all but, did I show this one? No, I didn't show that one. And then that's, that's it. Um, so I'm excited to use these. I love making wands. But the way that she showed it, she actually used these on her card. So I'm excited to try that too. And then I am new to Anna Griffin this year, meaning I have not, I don't own a lot of her stuff except for uh, nice D sashes and nice crafty ladies who did D sashes that I came across in the last couple of years. Um, one of the things I got I couldn't even use because unfortunately I didn't, I was new as a newer crafter. I assumed that all dyes worked on all machines, but I'm bumped. Not quite. Looking at the dimensions is really important. And I couldn't even be, blame the salesperson because she said that. So um, I can finally use that because I'm, I've gotten her machine and I'm very excited about it. Um, I also picked up this really cute um, a Halloween die set. I'm excited to use this. I love this owl. He's stinking adorable. I'm usually scared of spiders, but this one is cute. Even this guy, he doesn't really look scary. And I love the moon scene. They're all cute. And I love this gate from what she showed. And then I'm not familiar, like I said, I wasn't familiar with her stuff, so I picked up uh, some of her paper. And this is the Luxury Fall Matte Foil Cardstock, and it comes in slimline, and I think this is five by eight. So I'll just flip through you so you guys can see the different colors. Heavy on the, the rose gold and orange-ish, um, which is why I got it. And then, you know, just to try out more of her stuff, I got the Anna Griffin Halloween Glitter card stock from the sale. I'd love to know in the description box if you guys picked up anything from her, her recent sale. Everything came really quick from HSN, too. Um, okay, so this card stock is really interesting because it's like, it almost feels like the... I don't know how to describe it, but it, it feels foamy. That's the word I'm looking for. But, like, not a thick foam. But anyhow... Here it comes in orange and this white, off-white. It's almost like a silverish gold, black, purple. So very excited to use her um, stuff with um, yeah, her card stuff with her um, dies. Now that I have, I can use one. <laughs> because <laughs> I have a machine to cut it with. Ugh. Anyhow, okay, so um, this haul is definitely representative of lots of new to me companies. Brutus Monroe is the next one. And they recently released what I think are some really cool things. And I can't wait to, this, and this is my first purchase ever from them. I can't wait to try them out. So here we go. We have Faux Honey. And I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and let the product speak for itself. Like, it's so realistic that like, if you saw this on a shelf and you didn't see Faux, you might actually eat it. We have Sugar Glitter, and this is supposed to, I don't know if it has a the thing. Oh, it doesn't. So you guys should be able to see it better. It's supposed to actually, actually make your projects look like like, I want to use it on donuts because I like making donut embellishments. Um, it's supposed to make 
it them look like they have that that sugar glitter on them and not nutella because they can't but brutella i think i can show you guys this too. yes and i was like what and it smells like glue like it doesn't have like a, a, a i thought it might have a really strong smell um i also saw uh, a recent project and he used um or someone used the breakfast brunch not him um, but I liked all of the, I like the, you know, the waffle and the eggs and the bacon. This is supposed to be that like cinnamon toast, not cinnamon toast, the, uh, the one you put in the, in the toast, toaster. I can't think of the name. Um, help me out with the name in the description bar. And then the bananas and the oranges and hold on. I love that he has this. This is not a toy. He seems like he's a hoot. Okay, and then this is what they look like. And I actually got this off of, um, oh, it, was, it was actually on sale. I think it was like $19, um, but I caught a sale. Um, I'll put the shop down below when I list it. So anyhow, really cool and new things from Brutus Monero. Had to go back to my Concord, but this time it was for their 3D pumpkin builder dies because I'm planning on having some serious company this holiday season and I'm making these to put on the table um, I thought these are really cool the thankful scrippy sayings dies so yeah my haul from them is a like pumpkin themed one I also got their playful pumpkin stamp set look at the little faces and I love the boo and I know I'm just going to like these pumpkins. I love the fact that they added the lines. Love these leaves. Love the font on the Autumn Thankful. And then look at the little gloom, gloom. Oh, and these are the little, I was like, what is that? These are little stems. Love the font on the Halloween. I'm, I can't wait to use this. And then here are the dies that go with it. And then just to bring it home... Um, if you've seen me haul their boxes, then I love their turnabouts. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, I am, I don't love all of their turnabouts. <laughs> so I picked the ones that I know like speak to me and the, this, I thought this was cool. When I saw this on a card front, I like this one. It's the pumpkin patch one. So that is um, my Concord and Ninth and... We are going to bring this home with a another new to me shop. Um, her, it's my crafting world designs and oh my goodness. I was on Instagram and it was, um, I can't think of her name right now, but she made a, it's a craft caddy. She made a, she's a, I think she's on her design team. But I had to get this side. It's an actual craft caddy. It's, it's adorable. And then um, I had mentioned in an earlier haul that I had to also discovered honeybee stamps. And I was able to finally get my hands. This came back in stock. The um, It's the Buzzworthy Stamps and Dies. No, that's not what it is. Let's, let's do this right. I forgot where they put their... Right, here we go. They put their stuff, the name on the back. So it's at the lake set of six layering stencils. So you actually get six layering stencils and the cards people created with this. Yeah, so here's one. And it tells you, like it says sky and lower tree bank. Well, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I have them in order. I'll figure it out. Um, upper mountain and lake. Lower mountain. <coughs> oh, my allergies are acting up. Uh, tree line background. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. This is the... Oh, no. This way. The... Um, Excuse me. Um, 
tall trees background. And then the sixth one you get is tall trees foreground and riverbank. So I'm, um, I'm really loving card making and I have started collecting things to add to my card re uh, making repertoire and it's been quite fun to do that. Okay, so that um, brings me to the end, I believe, yes, of today's crafty haul. As always, I hope you all found something of crafty value and inspiration in this haul. It was super fun for me to bring it to you and more importantly, for me to highlight um, small businesses, um, which is why I do hauls on this channel. Yes, I like to create, I like to collect and enhance my own um, uh, crafting supply, but um, it's equally important to me to help out small businesses. So I hope you are inspired. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to all of you who are always coming back and supporting my channel and watching my videos. Please check out all of the people and uh, companies. If you're interested in getting of these things, their links will be down below. And I want to wish you all a blessed and beautiful day. Until next time, take care. Bye.